So welcome to our maintenance video and today we're looking at the uh, MSR fuel pump and some of the problems that can happen and this is all part of your annual maintenance uh, as well that goes with these stoves. You don't want to find yourselves out uh, in the field uh, with problems um, so if you can get these done before departure um, all the better and really once a year if you're using your stove regularly uh, you should be doing these very regular checks uh, to make sure that everything is in order. So one of the problems that can arise is that uh, you are not getting pressure uh, when you are pumping and um, the problem with that is just a seal inside uh, at the bottom of the pump lever here. So getting into that can be uh, a little bit confusing because if you can read here it says open here. So what you want to do is bring the pump in to that point where you can just just read that. And then this plate here, if you can see this one of the little notches on it, we're going to rotate the whole lot from there. Just about a quarter of a turn, okay? And then it'll actually all pop out. And it's this seal here. This black seal is the problem. Uh, that if you're not getting the pressure inside in the stove is one of the problems uh, that maybe you'll see a very visible deterioration in there and um, to get a replacement part on that you will need your expedition maintenance kit it won't be in your annual maintenance kit uh, you will need an expedition maintenance kit to replace that seal there um, popping it back in just reverse the order but before you do that you may want to check the seal on the connection point here with your uh, where the um, fuel line connects in so if we just rotate this full turn pop in and just inside there we can see the uh, the washer inside so there's a washer that does uh, suffer from deterioration after time and in either your maintenance kits your um, annual maintenance kit or the expedition maintenance kit will have spares and using the safety needle it's actually quite easy just to fish that out and to replace it um, so don't wait for those to deteriorate you should be replacing those uh, regularly uh, so that they're all ready to rock and roll for when you need them and just again just reverse everything once we want to get back into place pops in there and twist and we're back in action <laughs> 